another 10 mistakes number one it had two floors stuffed with different shops now this is very unlucky because this word stuffed is almost being used correctly you can certainly say that the wardrobe is stuffed with clothes or that the um, the drawer is stuffed with wires and old batteries like my drawers are um, so things can be stuffed with something and a bag can be stuffed with whatever you keep in that bag certainly but you don't really talk about a building being stuffed with different shops um, you, you could say it had two floors packed with different shops and so really this is just a collocation mistake um, and I felt quite sorry for the student who made this mistake because actually he was very close to being correct and being very natural as well so stuffed is a good word but it's just used for wardrobes, drawers, bags, other places not the whole building um, okay number two I wasn't ready to this conversation I hope you can feel that it's a preposition and you are ready to do something but you're not ready to this to this no you're ready for a noun ready for this conversation so ready for plus noun ready to plus infinitive um, okay number three I couldn't reject the invitation now I looked this up on Google because I figured that Google would probably have a quite a few entries for reject an invitation and it does however I still maintain and I think a lot of people in England would agree with me that there are, this doesn't really collocate very well I couldn't reject the invitation it's much better to say I couldn't refuse the invitation or I couldn't decline the invitation both of those words work very well with invitation meaning you know say no to the invitation so um, I would certainly say refuse or maybe decline I couldn't decline the invitation okay one of the two um, and yeah it just it just sounds much nicer in my opinion perhaps there will be some cases when you could say reject an invitation but it's it's not something I would ever say okay number four how to say question mark yeah how to say <clears throat> now I've spoken about this in another lesson way a long time ago perhaps common mistakes lesson four or five or something like that but I can't remember which one it was but I want to repeat that it's not acceptable because I still hear it very very often and what people need to say if they're asking a question is how do I say yeah let's put it all down how do I say <coughs> in English yeah something like that you need to say how do I say <coughs> in English not how to say how to say is quite a strange form because you know that in English for a question you always need the question word the auxiliary verb the subject and then the infinitive the main verb okay how do I say so and so in English um, okay number five to make revenge very close but we don't say make revenge we say take revenge or get revenge both either of those would be fine but not make revenge okay number six the bank returned those money to me it's this word which isn't nice with money um, money is actually singular and so we need to say this money the bank returned this money to me you don't talk about money are you talk about money is and so money is singular this money number seven I don't believe the other banks um, it may be correct but it wasn't what my student wanted to say and I think very often people confuse believe and trust which are similar but different I mean trust means that you have faith in your bank you're certain that they won't suddenly take your money and not give it back to you for some reason you're so, you trust them you think that they wouldn't do that that they would always make sure that you got your money first um, believe is more when you believe something is true or not true or believe someone's words are true or untrue um, and so it's similar but trust is much more what was being implied in this sentence okay number eight refuse again um, I refused 
from the operation no we don't have refuse from so if you're saying refuse from get rid of it it's not correct you need to say I refused to have the operation refuse plus two plus infinitive I refused to have the operation there is no preposition with refuse it's just refuse and two plus infinitive okay or refuse and noun I refused the invitation number nine you probably don't want to explode the White House probably not um, now this is the word which is incorrect explode bombs explode um, chemicals explode if they're mixed in the right proportions and uh, the, uh, you, you can't say that someone exploded something you can't say he exploded his house or whatever it's, it's not possible you need to use the phrasal verb blow up and then that sentence becomes correct you probably don't want to blow up the White House some it, it, blow up is something an agent does to something else and so this is much better blow up explode is more passive it's just what a chemical does or what a bomb does um, but you don't do it to something else okay I hope that's clear if there's any questions about blow up um, ask under the video but again if you check on Oxford Dictionary I think they'll give you hundreds of examples making this very very clear so please do use Oxford Dictionary um, I think anyone learning a foreign language should use a good dictionary it's absolutely essential tool okay and last one number 10 he always won me in these games it's this word I hope you realize straight away that you can't win someone you can win a game of chess you can win a game of tennis you can win a game of football but you beat the opponent at football you beat Manchester United beat Chelsea and he always beat me again it's probably something I've mentioned before but I'll mention it again because it's a very common mistake okay if you have any questions about these mistakes please ask under the video I'll be delighted to answer them thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you all soon